Assetto Corsa Competizione was recently updated to version 1.0.8, and among the huge list of changes are some cool features that might help bring people back to the title. Let's take a look. So the complete change log for version 1.0.8 is far too long for me to get into in one video. So what I'm going to do is just drop some links in the description. You can read the full change log. There may be other items that have more value to you based on how you use ACC. But uh, I do want to get into 12 that I think are quite significant and important to how I use ACC and things that you might want to know about. So number one on that list, the AI now observes blue flags. That's kind of a cool thing. Thing. So they do do a good job. I tested this out. They do a good job when you have, you know, a good launch out of a straightaway um, or into a straightaway, I should say. They do a great job of getting out of the way. Number two, um, added automatic driver swap in the multifunction display when pitting. That's a big one. So most of us have at one point in ACC thrown away a good race because the intent of the driver swaps in uh, single player especially wasn't clear so now we have a automatic setting for the driver swaps uh, in the multifunction display uh, number three completely reworked the custom championship architecture so we're getting towards that career uh, enhancement we all want to see in ACC uh, but currently they're working on the custom championship and the architecture has been overhauled number four the car spotter so you may notice now when you jump into the game that uh, your spotter it's the same voice you've heard before telling you you know um, give it all you can and things like that well now it's going to tell you where you are in proximity to the cars around you so it's a fairly basic car spotter at this time but uh, it is uh, in the works by kunos number five the stats page i know a lot of you were really hoping for this one so you can now go into your driver profile and see exactly how you're progressing see your fastest laps things like that uh, number six exactly akin to that your personal best lap times uh, are added to the loading screens and single player circuit info so now when you jump into a game you will see your fastest ever lap time that's a big one number seven the penalty indicator to heads up display standings and real-time track position widget so uh you will see if you've been giving a given a penalty and just like the uh uh, driver swaps there's some confusion about when to do driver swaps and if you've done it successfully well the same thing if you've been assessed a penalty you will now know about it number eight the water asphalt film excuse me wet asphalt water film depth uh, now influences aerodynamics so what this basically means is previously where there was a low spot on the track that you're driving over um, even if it had water on it, it would see the way the game would work is the low points would be a bigger gap between uh, the asphalt and the bottom of your car. Well, if there's water on it, obviously that water has a film. So now the air moving between that film and your car, car is actually what's going to affect the arrow. So that's a pretty incredible update i mean a lot of people wouldn't think of that or wouldn't even bother with it but uh, kudos has done a good job so now the top of the water is the measured distance between your car and it will affect the arrow on your car so make sure you check your setup if you're one of those people who's got a setup really really dialed in for the wet there's also been a significant amount of change to how tire temperatures work and specifically how the preheat works um Despite the ambient temperature now, the slicks are preheated to 70 degrees Celsius and uh, you can input the pressure you want for that preheated temperature. So they have adjusted the presets that a lot of us know and love in kind and uh, you'll have better response with those tires now. Um, basically, you can go into your setup now and um, do two PSI less than the operating temperature you want and it should heat up to that. So a lot easier to figure out the tire pressures now. Number 10, the RC rating was rewritten and it works again in single player and multiplayer. And my racecraft rating, RC is racecraft of course, and uh, my racecraft rating has gone back to zero. So that kind of sucks, I gotta build it up again. I did some single player racing and I'm still in the single digits. So it's gonna take some time to build that up. But uh, just so you know, the uh, RC 
rating may be reset to zero, likely reset to zero, and uh, you will need to build that again. Um, safety improvement ratings is number 11. Um, so there's changes to how you build trust and um, number 12 and, and related to this is the safety and racecraft will change at a slower rate for the low ai so a lot of us and myself included if i'm being honest uh raced single player turned the difficulty down and just worked on you know driving in proximity to other ai cars and built up the safety rating that way and uh kunos i guess what they're saying here the subtext is that that is cheating that they want you to build up your safety rating organically and fair enough so now there are uh adjustments to how fast you will build it if you have a low ai setting so uh, it's just going to encourage us to push ourselves harder and i think it's overall a good idea so very cool change log. That's just 12 changes. Um, actually, some of them aren't even that different. So maybe there's 10 changes there that I mentioned. Uh, but a uh, huge change log, like I said, there's links in the description and uh, you can check it out for yourself. And uh, I think there's some real good progress here. It's showing that Kunos does care. A lot of these things, specifically the fastest lap time and the driver stats page, those are things we've been asking for in ACC for a very long time. So Kunos is listening to us and we want to just keep the pressure on them keep building this title it's already one of the best sims in my opinion and uh yeah just continue to see it grow so that's cool all right guys thanks so much for watching and uh let me know in the comments what are you seeing that you like what are you seeing that still needs improving in acc thank you for watching and we'll see you next time